Hi, welcome to my channel. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys are enjoying whatever you're doing today. I am spending Thanksgiving by myself, which is really awesome because I'm just sitting in my house with a bottle of my favorite wine, <laughs> Red Zinfandel. It's really good. Um, and some pie and ice cream and watching Netflix and it's been good. Um, yeah. So the book that I want to talk about today is this one that I read a couple weeks ago called Are Men Necessary by Maureen Dowd. I don't really like keeping these on books. They kind of get in the way. But I, to be honest, I bought this book because I thought that the cover was cool looking. And I know people are like, don't judge a book by its cover, but I totally do that when I buy books. And this one, okay, if you look closely at it, you see like, there's this very beautiful woman reading a book right there in a nice dress. There's all these men around her. She seems to be the only woman in the picture. And they're like, how dare she read a book while looking pretty or something like that. You can see like this guy, he has this malicious look in his eye. Like he was judging her intently. And there's like that shadow over his eyes to make him look more evil. It's really funny. And like his his hat concealing his identity in some sort of way and his trench coat he just looks like evil like this is the patriarchy or something um and then even then in the background you see like that guy he's like what are you doing reading a book as a woman on a bus oh my god that guy i can't really see his face from this angle yeah he just seems to be doing his own thing that's cool he was reading a book i guess you need some background characters too if you want to Create a full picture, but I'd say as far as cover art goes, A+. Plus. Anyway, I bought this book because I thought the cover was cool, but then I also thought that the question that the book was posing was kind of funny. Um, it would probably offend a lot of people, so I figured why not buy it and see what she has to say. Are men necessary? I don't know. I've never really thought about it before. Yeah, so... I'd say after reading the book, I was kind of disappointed in it because she doesn't actually answer the question as to whether or not men are necessary. And I think it's an important question uh, to ask. And I don't know, maybe I'm looking for the answer in my own life. So I'll give her this one. Um, somewhere at the beginning of the book, she talks about how potentially in the next 100 years or something, uh, male gene could go extinct and the entire species could just be females. And then talks about how the, there are certain animals that they only have females and in order to mate, some of the females take on the male role and they're able to further the species without males. So potentially humans would be able to do the same thing. And when I read this, I thought, wow, that's really interesting. I wonder I wonder if we could potentially do that, what the world would look like if it was only females and how our society would transition from a male and female world to solely a female world. And there's, I guess maybe those questions could be answers, answered in some sort of sci-fi novel that this book wasn't claiming to be. Actually. Now that I think about it, that would be a really interesting book to read. There's probably something out there that's like that, like females have taken over the world and men are either nothing, like they, they're gone, they're extinct, or they're like slaves or something. Not that I want this to happen, but it, it would be an interesting story to read, like what would the world look like? But as I say, this book just did not answer any of the questions that were in my mind after reading that first part and it just went on a bunch of random tangents. The last portion of the book was talking extensively about Monica Lewinsky and kind of judging her but then kind of taking her side. I don't really know. I, I thought that it was unnecessary to add information about Monica Lewinsky or maybe the way that the author talked about her was just not helpful to her overall thesis in the book. But yeah, that, well, I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think that, first of all, do you think that men are necessary? 
do you think that posing the question in and of itself is sexist to men? You've read this book. Do you agree with what I said about it? Or do you think she did answer this question well? And yeah, anything else that you guys are thinking about this video, let me know in the comments. And also, if you guys have any suggestions for books, I would love to take them. I love taking book suggestions from people, especially when it's like their favorite book that they've ever read or when people are like, this book changed my life. Those are the best kinds of books to read because they'll probably change your life too. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys have or had a wonderful Thanksgiving with whoever you spent it with. And yeah, see you next time.